Okay, First Chronicles chapter 20, verse 4. And we got a lot of reading to do. And before we start off in verse 4, I got a simple question. And don't be too quick to answer. Who killed Goliath? Don't be too quick to answer. And it came to pass after this that there arose war at Gezer with the Philistines, at which time Shebekai, the Hishalite, slew Sipei, that was of that was of the children of the giant. Sipei is one man, one giant. He's of the children of the, the giant. And they were subdued. So Shabakiai kills Sipei. Sipei is a dragon, num uh, dragon, uh, giant, number one. And there was war again with the Philistines. And Elhanah, the son of Jer, slew Lahamai, the brother of Goliath, the Gittite. So here is Lahanai, and he kills the giant Lahamai, the brother of Goliath. So we have Sipei, Lamai, and Goliath as giants. The brother of Goliath. Whose spear, whose spear staff was like the weaver's, weaver's beam. And I can, can't find a picture of that. If you're a weaver, you know what the weaving equipment looks like. And yet again, there was war at Gath. Where was a man... Of great stature, here's giant number three or four, Count Goliath, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand and six on each foot. Well, here's a guy who's got extra appendage at the end of his hands, at the end of his feet. He also was the son of the giant. Notice I keep saying the giant. So we have Sipai, Lamhamai, Goliath, and this man. But when he defiled Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shimei, David's brother, slew him. So this giant with the extra fingers and toes is killed by Jonathan, David's cousin, another cousin, another family of David in battle. These were Sipnai, Lahomai, a man, and, and we'll find another one in Samuel. These were born unto the giant in Gath. And they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. So we're getting a war with the Philistines and we're getting battle with giants. And we have the giant mentioned. 2 Samuel 21. 2 Samuel 21. And we'll pick up in verse 15. 2 Samuel is going to give us a little more information as 2 Samuel gave us a little more information last night. But it's the same subject. And I got to ask you again, who killed Goliath? Don't be so quick to answer. Moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel. See, there it is. And David went down and his servants with him. Oh, David didn't skip this war. <laughs> and fought against the Philistines. And David waxed faint. Oh, we had something else about David. He's getting tired in battle. He's getting old. And Ishbenet, Ish by Benob, here's another giant, which was of the sons of the giant. That's the first time giant shows up in your Bible, right there. The weight of whose spear weighed 300 shekels of brass in weight. He, was, he being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain David. Oh, look at that. David was almost killed by Ishmael Nightbun, or however you say his name, the giant. But Abishai, the son of Zariah, that's David's mother's sister. Abishai would be his uh, cousin. Huh? Cousin. Cousin. Suckered. Suckered. That's the first time that word shows up. Him. That would be Ishbun Bunabab. 
however, and smote the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle. Now look at that. Within two chapters, David stayed home from a battle, ended up in sin of adultery and murder. David goes out to battle next time, and he almost gets killed, and the people are like, you're not going to war no more. Had David only waited a couple more wars, the people would say, David, stay home and rest. You know, there's a time when Israel, they're, they're, they're going about, oh, God, we need water. This water is horrible. It's bitter water. And they took the tree, they threw it in the water, and what's the next thing they come to? They come to palm trees and water. If you only wait it. That's what we need to do with God. I need to learn patience. If I only wait, there may be something better up around the corner. So they told David, Thou shalt no more go out to, with us to battle, and thou that thou quench not the light of Israel. Now that light is reference of the children of Israel. And if you see a house, they got a, a electric or they got a real candle in the window. If it's a Jewish house, that would tell you it's not Christmas. It's that they have children. And that light means as soon as, as, as that light is lit, I have a child who's alive. Whether he lives in a house or he lives in a broad, where it, but I have a children. That's my light of my family. Now, it's quite interesting. I mentioned that to mention the fact is, if that child were to come home and say, I believe Jesus Christ is my Savior, is my Messiah, they will not only have a mock funeral for that child and consider him dead, they will unplug or turn off or blow out that candle. My child has professed Jesus Christ, but he's dead to us. It's an interesting thing. That in, the, in the children of Israel reference that kind of light, and Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. They don't want it. John chapter 1 speaks about the light. And it came to pass after this that there was again a battle with the Philistines at Gob. Then Shibekiah, the Hushite, slew Saph, which was the sons of the giant. So Saph and Ishbod Nibob, giants. And there was again a battle in Gob in the Philistines, where Ahian, the son of Jeroglam, a Bethlehemite, slew the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the staff whose spear was like a weaver's beam. We just read that in Chronicles 20, verse 5. So here's a brother of Gath. I ask you again, who killed Goliath? Don't be so quick to answer. And there was yet a battle in Gath, another one. And there was a man of great stature that had on every hand six fingers. That's the first time fingers shows up in the Bible. And on every foot six toes. Does that sound familiar? It's First Chronicles. And twenty in number, uh, four and twenty in number. He also was born to the giant. And when he defiled Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shemia, the brother of David, slew him. That's David's cousin. The four Ishbibab, Sav, the one that had the extra fingers and toes, and where's the other one? There's another one. And the brother of Goliath. Those four were born to the giant in Gath. That would be Goliath. Goliath's brothers were his sons. Goliath's sons were his brothers. So when we come to the fact is, when you look at the mort of life, Goliath had an affair with his own mother to produce brothers and to produce those brothers who are his sons. Goliath mated with his mother to have sons who were his brothers. To show you how wicked the things are. And fell by the hand of David. So what, what giant of Gath fell by the hand of David? Don't be so quick to answer. By the hand of his servants. Don't be so quick to answer. 1 Samuel 17, 49. 1 Samuel 17, 49. 1 Samuel 4, 17, 49. We're not going to get into the whole story. We're just going to read 1749. I think it would spell out to us. And David put his hand in his bag 
and took thence a stone. Remember, he gathered five stones. Why? We just read the, the four brothers and sons. And Goliath makes five. David was anticipating the brothers, which is his sons, to come up and say, okay, you killed my father, you killed my brother, we're going to kill you. David anticipated that, that those giants were common knowledge of David. And that's a stone and slang, that's the first and only time that word shows up, and smoked the Philistine in the forehead. That's Goliath by chapter 17. That the stone sunk in his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. Now, my question is, who killed Goliath? Don't be so quick to answer. He said, well, you shut up and stop saying that. Well, what we're going to do now is, you stay right there in Samuel, what we just read. And I'm going to read you some perverted modern Bibles. In 1 Samuel 17, 49, and I'm not going to tell you what they are because they're copyrighted. I'm just going to read you general for some of these, but... When we get to the last one we're going to compare, I'm going to read to you exactly. But right now it says, David put his hand in his bag and it smoked the Philistine in his forehead. David put his hand in the bag and it struck the Philistine in his forehead. David put it, took the stone out of his bag and he slung and he hit Goliath right between the eyes. <laughs> David put his hand in the bag and he smoked the Philistine in the forehead. And David put his hand in the bag and took the stone and smoked the Philistine in the head. And David put his hand in the bag and struck the Philistine in the head. And David took, David took his hand in the bag and hit the Philistine in the forehead. And David put his hand in the bag and struck the Philistine. All right, we got that down, 1 Samuel 17, 49. Though change in words, we got the same idea of that, don't we? According to the modern Bibles and according to the King James Bible, we are all agreed that David went into his bag, grabbed that rock, and killed Goliath right between the eyes of the forehead. We're, no, 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 no. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Let's go back to 1 Chronicles 20, verse 5. 1 Chronicles 20, verse 5. And I'm going to read the most popular modern Bibles of 1st Chronicles 20 verse 5 and there was again war in the Philistines and Hiah the son of Jer slew Lahamai the brother of Goliath the Gittite 20 verse 5 chapter 20 verse 5 1st Chronicles uh, okay let's see 20 verse 5 1st Chronicles and there was war against the Philistines, and Ahiah the son of Jer killed Lahomai, the brother of Goliath. You getting that? And we're just going to read right now, the brother of Goliath. 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 We got that in verse 5 of the King James Bible and the modern Bibles. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Who killed Goliath? Don't be so quick to answer. I just read to you out of the modern Bibles, and the modern Bibles in 1 Chronicles 20, verse 5, said the brother of Goliath. Correct? All right. 2 Samuel 21, 19. 2 Samuel 21, 19. And I'm going to read now exactly what they said. i got to ask you a question. Who killed Goliath? Don't be so quick to answer. Now, did we not say that the modern Bible said in Chronicles, the brother of Goliath? Did we not say that? We saw that. You can check it out. And if you have a modern Bible with us, you said, yep. In Chronicles 20, verse 5, it said the brother of Goliath. All right, I'm going to read the modern Bibles of 2 Samuel 21, 19. Okay, ready? You follow along with me in the King James Bible if that's what you got. My question is, who killed Goliath? All right, ready? Elhiah, the son of Jerry Ogram of Bethlehem, killed Goliath the Gittite. Elhiah, the son of Jerry Ogram of Bethlehem, slew Goliath the Gittite. Uh, Elhiah, his, his father's name, the Bethlehem, killed Goliath. A soldier named Elhiah killed Goliath. Smoke Goliath the Giddite. 
slew Goliath the Giddite, the Githite. Struck down Goliath the Giddite. Struck down Goliath the Hittite. Kill Goliath. Slew Goliath the Hittite. Kill Goliath. Kill Goliath. Kill Goliath. Kill Goliath. Kill Goliath. Slew Goliath. Kill Goliath. Kill Goliath. Struck down Goliath. Kill Goliath. Kill Goliath. This is all El Haina. I'm just not reading El Haina because I don't want to pronounce the father's name. This is all El Haina. Kill Goliath. 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 Slew Goliath. Slew Goliath. Ehan dot 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 dot. Kill Goliath. El Haina. Jeroboam the Bethlehemite killed Goliath. I got to ask you a question. Who killed Goliath? Did we not read the, the King James Bible in 1 Samuel? David went in there, grabbed that rock, right between his foreheads, right? We read that in the modern Bibles, didn't we? Okay. We went over to 2 Chronicles. Didn't we see the brother of, the brother of, the brother of, the brother of, 2 Chronicles, modern Bible. Then when we take the modern Bibles, go to 2 Samuel, chapter 21, verse 19. The brother of Goliath, the brother of has been removed. There is a contradiction, not only the modern Bibles of the King James Bible, but the modern Bibles of their own scripture have, to, have contradicted themselves. Because they say in Chronicles, the brother of, and in Samuel, they say that Elhiah, the son of Jeroboam, the Bethlehemite, slew Goliath. What did 1 Samuel say? What did the modern Bible say, 1 Samuel said? What's the problem? All right, here's the problem. Look closely at 2 Samuel 21, verse 19. Notice the brother of is italics. Modern Bibles have that problem of the italics, though not found in Chronicles. Here's the, 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 the italics, and they remove it. It don't belong in the text. What the italics are in the King James Bible is when the, trans when the translators came across a word that they could not translate. There was no translation for a word to do. When they filled in the blank as the best they could through prayer, they put it in honesty of italics. That brother of cannot be found in the scriptures. Honestly. But that would be the best rhetoric when you compare First Chronicles. That has the brother of. That's not in italics in First Chronicles. So you see the error you do when you change the Bible. You have now made Ehud, the son of Jared Ogum, a Bethlehemite, slew Goliath. I thought David did it. Two out of three places in the modern Bible says David did it. But this one verse in 2 Samuel 21, 19 says that Elhanan did it. How are you going to teach your Sunday school children? David slew the rock and he got Goliath right between the right between the forehead, right between the eyes. And they continue to read their Bibles and they come to 2 Samuel in a perverted Bible. Then they're going to say, well, wait a minute. And supposedly that's a contradiction that people will use to you to say, well, look at that. What do you guys say for yourself? I'll say for you one thing, you ain't got the right Bible. Let's get my King James Bible and we'll look at what it says. So you see, the modern Bibles have also a controversy with themselves, not only with the King James Bible. I can take the King James Bible. If you've got a perverted Bible, my wife can do it too. In the book of Acts chapter 7, we can take your Bible. We can show you where it's wrong in Acts chapter 8. I can take you over chapter uh, Genesis chapter 5 and show where you, maybe your Bible's wrong. I can show it possibly where, the, where blood is taken out. I can show you where 1 John 5 is messed up in these Bibles. I read a Bible the other day, the first John 5, and I forget what verse it is, but the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And when I read that, I couldn't find a reference because that thing went so wild out in the circus field. So when you've got somebody, you're dealing with the King James, you're dealing with the modern Bible, say, who killed, 
who killed Goliath? And their natural reaction is going to be, David did. And you don't need a King James Bible. You can use it. See, your King James says, David, right? Took the rock. Yeah, right. Look over here. It says the, the brother of Goliath. Hey, did you know bro that Goliath had a brother? Yeah. Well, I, oh, wow. That's interesting. And look, he had other brothers and brothers and who were his Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. Let's go over to 2 Samuel and see what your Bible says. Your Bible says, and when you read it, that brother of is completely missing. I thought you said David killed Goliath. How can you have a Bible contradict itself? There it is. I'll tell you what the answer is. David killed Goliath, but if you have a modern Bible, David killed Goliath, but then again, he didn't. And you're going to put a rest assurance in that? I wouldn't. See what happens when you mess the word of God up? You can't even have a cross-reference. That is not a cross-reference in the Bible for modern Bibles. And then we also learn with the scripture with scripture that Again, like I've already said, Goliath had brothers. Problem, those brothers of Goliath were his sons by his mother. Goliath was the firstborn. He made it with his, his mother, and there he's got brothers who are his sons. That's why David grabbed the five rocks so he could not kill Goliath. Isn't that funny? David was anticipating those four brothers' sons to show up. So that's interesting. That's the Bible. Glory to God. Lord God, I just thank you for your word. Lord, I just pray for the preaching. Lord God, of the cross and of the gospel and of Jesus Christ alone. Lord, I thank you for Jeremiah and the comfort he gives and the, the comfort we give to him through the word. And Lord God, the tracks and some people weren't happy. Some people were happy. It's the Bible already said. Lord God, bless this night, Lord, with rest and sleep and Tomorrow, if you're to Terry, Lord, be a wonderful, great thing for you to come and call us all home tonight. For Jesus' sake, I pray. Amen. Uh-oh.